Today's book is called Hedgehog Bakes a Cake. The author is Marianne McDonald. She has her own website. You can see that link right here. And the illustrator is Lynn Munsinger. A little about her um, on a web page posted by Tufts University in Massachusetts. You can look at that as well. Hedgehog was hungry for cake. He found a yellow cake recipe. Hmm, this one sounds easy, he said, and good, too. Hedgehog took out the flour. He took out the eggs and the butter. He was taking out the blue mixing bowl when he heard a knock at the door. It was Rabbit. Hello, Rabbit, said Hedgehog. I am making a cake. Oh, I will help you, said Rabbit. I am good at making cakes. Here's the recipe, said Hedgehog. You do not need this recipe, Rabbit said. I will show you what to do. Rabbit took the flour. He dumped it into the blue bowl. He took the butter and dumped that in, too. Then he dumped in the sugar. <laughs> now we will mix it, said Rabbit. Mixing was hard work. Rabbit mixed and mixed. His arm began to hurt. The batter was lumpy. The sugar stuck to the sides of the bowl. There was flour everywhere. I think someone is calling me, said Rabbit. You finish the mixing, Hedgehog. I will come back when the cake is ready. Hedgehog shook his head. The cake batter was a mess. What's the matter, Hedgehog? Squirrel was at the door, looking in. I am making a cake, said Hedgehog. But it does not look very good. You need eggs, said Squirrel. I will put them in. He cracked some eggs and dropped them in. Some shell fell in, too. A little bit of shell does not matter, said Squirrel. Mix it all together. So Hedgehog mixed. The batter was more lumpy. But mixing was easier than before. Owl stuck her head in the door. Baking? she asked. May I help? Hedgehog did not want more help, but he didn't want to hurt Owl's feelings. You can butter the pan, said Hedgehog. Oh, Owl was happy. She stuck her wing into the butter, then she smeared it around the pan. Owl turned on the oven with her buttery feathers. She turned it up as high as it would go. Mm, the oven must be nice and hot, she said. We have gotten very messy helping you, said Squirrel. We will go home now and clean up. Put the cake in the oven. We will come back when it is ready. Squirrel and Owl went home. Hedgehog looked at the kitchen. There was sugar on the floor. There was butter on the oven door. And there was flour on everything. Hedgehog dumped the cake batter into the garbage pail. He locked the kitchen door and took out his recipe. First, Hedgehog measured the sugar. He mixed it slowly with the butter. Next, he counted out three eggs and cracked them into the bowl. One, two, three. Then he added the flour. Hedgehog mixed everything together and poured it into Owl's buttery pan. He turned down the heat and put the batter in the oven. Then, <laughs> then he cleaned up the kitchen. Open the door, Hedgehog, called Rabbit. We can smell the cake and we are getting hungry. Hedgehog unlocked the door. The kitchen was clean, the cake was cooling on a rack, and the table was set for a tea party. The four friends sat down. Hedgehog cut the cake. They each ate one slice, then they each ate another slice. This is the best cake I have ever made, said Rabbit. Aren't you glad I showed you how to do it? The eggs make it very rich, said Squirrel. And, and you can't taste the shell at all. It's perfect, said Owl. I set the oven just right. Thank you for all your help, said Hedgehog. Next time, 
I will try to do it all by myself. Now, this is the recipe for Hedgehog's Yellow Cake. And even though in the story, Hedgehog breaks three eggs into his bowl, this recipe calls for two eggs. So if you follow it, you will end up with a piece of cake that you can eat warm with a glass of milk. You're mixing all the ingredients and you're going to put them in a nine inch round cake pan. The batter will look like it does on the left here. And when it's done in the oven and ready to come out, it will look like this picture here on the right. You can use a toothpick or a cake tester to make sure it's done in the middle. And then you can do various things with it. In this picture on the right, it's been cut in half with apricot jam on the inside and whipped cream on the top. But you can eat it how you want to because it will be your tea party. On her webpage, Marianne McDonald does talk about Hedgehog Bakes a Cake. You can visit that. And now you know about a recipe and a story. Hedgehog Bakes a Cake by Marianne McDonald. Illustrations done by Lynn Munsinger.